what I'm seeing in the emergency room with anaphylaxis, which is what I imagine you'll see as a paramedic, is a couple of categories. Hymenoptera, which is bees and wasps. But remember, fire ants are also in the hymenoptera category. So think of uh, wasps as flying fire ants, as far as anaphylaxis is concerned. And one of the leading causes of death from anaphylaxis in America is parenteral penicillin. It's what we do. So you give that penicillin for a sore throat. So you as a paramedic, if you get called for any sort of a sting, fire ant, or any sort of a penicillin, you get to the scene, oh, let's just watch this for a while, see how it does. That's not the right answer because statistically most deaths are within 30 minutes. So you want to act on that. Um, you want to give epinephrine to bring those vessels back down, give fluids if they're hypotensive to fill the tank and manage the airway, look for posterior pharynx swelling. And the last point I'll make is you are our eyes and our ears on the scene, but you're also our educators on the scene. So if somebody has had a life-threatening anaphylactic reaction, they need that epi immediately. They should have an epi pen on them, in their purse, in their glove compartment, in their home. There should be three of them, purse, glove compartment, home. And um, you might be the ones as a paramedic who have to remind them to do that because by the time they get to me, and sometimes by the time they get to you, it's too late so they can inject themselves. And really, the harm, our body creates epinephrine, our adrenaline, like when we see a saber-toothed tiger pop out from behind the bush, you know, that tachycardia. You got them a little tachycardic. You're not going to do any major amount of harm from a shot of epi. Um, I would seek medical direction for IV epi. That's probably going to be started in the hospital, but starting the IM epi, and maybe if it's that bad, giving a repeated shot is okay.